hello, 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 hello. Welcome to a new video. Now we're looking at the dev blog number 11. Then to upcoming beta maps and maps and tools. Uh -huh. Hello, everyone. We have presented new specialization in previous dev blogs, airborne and coastal troops. Now it's time to introduce the battlefields where they will face each other. Yes. Previous multiple uh, beta proposed of six maps. So we have decided to ramp up things a bit and propose eight brand new maps this time. Eight maps instead of six. And they're all brand new, I'm guessing. Yeah, they're all brand new. Yeah, propose eight brand new maps. Yeah. We have selected a panel of very different layouts to let you experiment various gameplay situations and see what you prefer. All these maps are large enough to post an intense 5v5 multiplayer match and still have room on the sides to let planes maneuver and to give more uh, give room for infiltrators and flanking attacks. They are also full of detail and contains unique visual elements, lighting and weather. So this is uh, Kalingrad. Oh, that looks uh that looks really nice actually. Got all the buildings you can have troops. It's very big, you can tell, and it's quite a big map to be honest. At the heart of the Russian exclave, uh, located between Lithuania and Poland, lies the city of Kaliningrad. It features the only ice-free Russian port on the Baltic's Baltic Sea, making it a strategically paramount. Yeah, there's another picture. That looks very nice as well. Very good, very good. And what's down here? The city is characterized um, by the a fortified historic center divided between several waterways at the center which lies an island on which stands oh god i, don't, I can't say that but cathedral <laughs> so uh yeah we're going to be putting troops and snipers in there and then we're just going to blow it up yeah sounds about right all right next right oh there's the map layout okay so that's where they start that's where we start well that's it and then we have to like be careful of this area here wouldn't you yeah, so you could easily flank there, or possibly flank down there. So it'd be straight through the middle, and then you'd have, have to have AA units or anti-tank units over here and over here. So I wonder how many units we can bring into battle. I wonder if that's changed. Let's uh, find out. A large industrial harbour spreads from the city centre to the estu estuary of the Prigogolula River. Is an interface with a large railway um classification yard surrounded by large hangars and numerous bridges a massive stadium surrounded by multiple multiple parkings it's situated on the other side of the city and countless urban and commercial districts surrounding the center yeah you can see that so there's the big harbor there's all the uh well you know where people live where we're going to blow up and well that, that should probably shouldn't say that on youtube but uh but anyway and then there's a oh there's like a little parks here so that's going to be fun oh it's going to be good it's going to be good. All right. The Battle of Canaglad promises to be fierce as both sides start relatively close to each other on the western part of the map. But on the different sides of the estuary, they might they must be rapid processed east in the direction of the city centre where the bridges are located to secure crossing points and capture objectives located on the other bank. And previous units will provide the fearlessness here more than anywhere else as their ability to cross the waterways allows them to infiltrate, infiltrate recon and f on the flanks and launch assaults away from the heavy defended bridges. Uh, you can just use jets and helicopters really to stop that sort of stuff. Uh, that's a pretty easy stop, but uh, there's, a, there's a river. This, this map looks huge, not going to lie. This, this looks like a very, very big map. Very good. Far from the hell of urban combat, the map proposes to fight in more... A much more often landscape mainly comprised of fields surrounded by tree lines, small villages and isolated farms. A river runs through the several shallow water passes allowing any vehicle's infantry to cross them at reduced speed. Very nice. So look at that. That's a hell of a... Ah, these maps look beautiful, I'm not going to lie. Oh, they're still talking about the same map. Wait. Is there different variants of maps or something? Because I think there's different var... Wait, is this a different map? Oh, it's called River. Okay, okay, the map's called River. Right, uh huh, silly me. Right, so there's River. That looks very, very nice. The big, massive river down the middle. Send some, uh, you know, some amphibious soldiers to get just to get mowed down by helicopters. 
Lovely, lovely. All right, refinery. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Let's keep going. Um, countries fight to spend their influence in order to secure access to resources vital to their development. So what a symbol of than this to fight to control off the old refinery. Like, it's only a multiplayer game. You're not really fighting for control of it. You're just fighting to like, win the game. <laughs> I mean, let's be realistic about it. Um, okay, there's a big city, and there must be the refinery area, and it uh, looks like a railway yard over there. Yeah, it looks very good. All right, this large map features uh, a huge oil refinery located in um, Pantanu, separated by marshlands from the city nearby city, also located on the other... Okay, that is a massive map like that is i think for 5v5 and you can't well from experience from the last beta you can't really bring in a huge amount of units like this would be good for war now war now you can bring in a, a 10v10 a mass amount of units but this 5v5 and you can't bring in the massive units i'm not too sure that's going to work but it's going to be annoying because you're going to have to really coordinate like two people up here, two people up here, and one person down the middle. I think that's probably the best way you're going to do it, but I'm not sure if they're going to be changing the amount of units you can bring to the battle. I'm pretty sure, not sure if it was in the past because in the last bit because of performance issues, but I'm, I, I don't like the maps being like, like Parnu, for example, in the beta. That was perfect size for 5v5. It was really good battles, close in, um, in close, uh, close combat. You know, it's really good. But this just looks way too big to me, in my opinion. Four, five, eight, five, anyway. But um, that's my opinion. I might be wrong, but we'll see. All right, the number of objectives posted on this map <clears throat> is more than twice the usual number, spread into two main groups located in the refinery of the city. The unusual layout forces the teams to make her choice, yeah, choices. Um, you will play Ace Classic two times City one middle yeah two refinery yeah that is the best suit but the map's too big for five v five best suit of defense is but can fall to achievement numerous superiority anywhere or will play on aggressive zero three yeah 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 okay don't like that map all right uh, Ruda all right see this is better look at that just the perfect size map that, that doesn't look too big it doesn't look too small that's what she said. But that, that I think that's that's fine. Inspired, uh, inspired by the area around the Kazlu Ruja and Lithuania, the city is surrounded by large uh, by large forest, full of small clearing cut by uh, farmland. Farmland it says farmland. Okay, guys, that says farmland. All right. Uh, okay. So that doesn't look too bad. Five v five again. It looks too big. Unless you can bring in a lot more units than you could in the last beat. Uh, these big maps uh, just seemed way too big for me. And it's going to take way too long as well. These maps are going to take ages. All right. Uh, a military training ground and an airfield also carved in the middle of the trees. Like, yeah, one guy could sit up here, one guy here, and three down here. Wouldn't probably make logical sense. But once again, I personally think the map's too big for 5v5. 10 v 10, perfect. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I think that's perfect for 10 v 10. But 5 v 5, once again, too big. That's just my opinion, though. All right. The unique layout of the trees and the map creates a different experience. Instead of crossing fields to jump from one patch of cover to another, here you can follow. Oh, hello, who's playing Warner? Oh. Um, here you can follow narrow ships of narrow strips of forest to stay covered. Yeah infrastructures but uh, it can also make troops uh, movements slow and predictable here yeah. if an enemy is spotted progressing into the tree line you can easily guess where they are going and prepare an ambush to decide but uh, move fast on the road instead damn i mean okay cool it looks like a big decent map to be fair yeah nice 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 uh the second largest city in the street why is everybody why are they focusing on one one place i don't get that it's just one country oh, it's situated with the artificial lake created by now if they're going to focus on one city just for the beating that's eight maps if they focus on like say france or something then it's another like, like eight maps well they focus on like the uk have london in it that'd be quite interesting but um yeah anyway 
All right, um, we have uh, faithfully re represented this area, which incorporates to the south part of the city, the dam itself, and the zigzag off the river, offering an interesting layout for the multiplayer battle. So that looks smaller. See, this map looks better. This looks like a 5v5 five, 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 five map. I think this is probably going to be the best map. I don't like I don't like that we have to take so many bloody objectives. Like it doesn't like on the last game you had two objectives, two objectives, and then another one. So it's five objectives. I thought that was a fun experience in my books. Like that one map, Central Central Village is it, when there was like a hundred objectives you have to take. No one liked that map. No one really liked doing playing that map. And it seems that they've just copied that map into all the other maps, but no one liked them. I don't know, I'm not feeling I'm not feeling it now. To be honest with you, I'm really not feeling it. Objective here, objective here, objective here, objective here, objective here, objective here. That sounds more more logical in my books. Like logical, obviously the dam, and then obviously one of their like say the housing district. Here the forest area, take that, and here's another district over here, another district, and then say you know res uh, production district. That's all you need. You don't need all these objectives for five v five. I personally don't see the point, but like Central Village in my books was the worst map because it was just too open. You had to take too many objectives. It just wasn't really that fun. Uh, that's my opinion, to be honest. It might work. It might be good when you're playing. Don't get me wrong. It's probably going to be fantastic, but I'm not enjoying how many objectives you have to take on a 5v5 where you can only bring a limited amount of units into the battlefield unless that changes in this beta. But let's keep uh, reading. All right. So we've got the airbase. Okay, this looks like a very rainy one. Very nice. I actually like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to probably enjoy that map. Maybe. We'll see. Ah, see, that looks better. Look at that. Perfect. That's perfect. Oh, we have four, five, all grouped together. That's a good one. You're going to be fucking smashing each other over here and over here. And then units going around. But people don't really flank in these sort of games like Warner and that. So people don't flank. They don't care. They just want to fight. That's the point of strategy games. You just want to smash into each other. But um, this looks better. That's a better, a 10 times better map. I mean, and I don't understand why they put so much writing in because at the end of the day, you just show that. Oh, thanks, guys. So now we know the map. You know there's an airport. You know there's the buildings over here. That's great. Um, and uh, infantry can be um, consolidated in the hangars and the planes landing. Near the... Uh, beware, though. They're not resilient at all, using them as a fighting position, taking the rest to see a squad disappear in a pile of debris. I thought you don't lose troops and debris anymore. I swear that's what they said in the last one. But you do lose some, you don't lose the whole lot. Okay. You can see the suburbs of Kabakistan stretching out um, in the center of the map, while the rest of the city can be seen from a distance. It seems that like they focus on like one city, one country. I don't get that. One. All right, airport. How many bloody maps are there? Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. There's not really that many, but it's like eight, isn't it? All right, airport. Yeah, okay, airport looks nice. That's nice. I think that's they designed that really well. I really, really like that. Yeah, look at that. that that's a beautiful fucking picture. Like, right, Jesus Christ, that's beautiful. They did a good work in the game, don't get me wrong. All right, this is airport, isn't it? See, this is not too big. This map looks normal size. 5v5, that's fine. I have too many objectives, in my opinion, again, but... Like, you need one ear, one ear, one ear, one ear, one ear, one ear. You don't need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fucking ten objectives. Wait, is that ten, three, six, nine, yeah, ten objectives. You don't need ten. But I understand where they're going for, but as I said, Central Village was the most least favourite map, and they've just copied all the objective where that is. I don't think that's going to work out, in my opinion. It's a smaller map, so it might be better. And when you're playing the game, it's obviously going to feel a lot different as well. So there's, um, so there's the airport. That's pretty nice. Fun fact, the house of one of the mod uh, moderators is located on this map. Please avoid nuking it. Yeah, I know you can nuke it. I guess, ah, that makes sense, doesn't it? I think they've made these maps quite big for nukes. I don't think they've made them big for anything else but nukes. Like, this is a perfect size map, don't get me wrong, but the last, like, four have been, like, way too big. I think they just made it big for nukes, in my opinion. But we shall see how that goes. Um... I can't even say what that is, but it's this place. A huge city in a harbour. See, I love all urban warfare when it comes to games. Uh, I think, I think the, I'm glad that they've added a lot of urban. I'm not really into, like, the land, you know, fighting each other off, you know, that sort of thing. 
like out here i don't really like that because it's too open you know it's not fun but when you're fighting the building to building like just like moving troops around buildings fighting each other i, I think that's good that's fun i like that no by the way i'm coming down with a cold as well guys so i'm um, sorry if my voice sounds a bit weird uh the coastal city of this place it's the only largest harbour in Leith 3 Asia. I'm guessing that most of the developers are from this place. <laughs> we know one is, so I'm guessing that's why. Uh, making it a vital supply hub. But I didn't see why they put lore into these maps, because these are just, it's just a 10v10 map. Warno doesn't even have lore in any of their maps, because you're going to be jumping in that game, and you're going to be absolutely wiping each other out. That is all the game is for. So I don't understand why they put loads of lore into it to make it sound interesting, because it's not. See, now this is perfect. See, I like this. See, look at that map. It's just perfect. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's the perfect size. Once again, three, six, nine objectives. I mean, okay, it might work. We'll see how it works. We'll see how it works. beat us in, what, not, uh, like 12 days, so whatever. Oh, no, less than that. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. So, tools and performance. Now, this is the most, um, in, ah, they got this in. Nice to let that. I think you got that in the beta, but I didn't know what the hockey was. <laughs> Didn't look either. Yeah, okay, that's decent. All right, so so compared to the previous beta, beta, we have managed to optimize the game so now you can benefit from the best graphics with a smaller configuration. And we have introduced a small uh, RT, blah, 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 uh, which uh, is compatible with a large quality of GPUs and increased performance for a lot of minimal visual de um, degradation. Integration. God. Um, we have also optimized the lower graphics settings to let people play with configurations and were previous impossible. The beta will be. Uh, uh, will be the occasion for us to get uh, substantial information about players' performance and continued op optimization wherever needed. We have also proved the drawing speed of the line of sight by a factor of six. Press Alt to display this to our Alt clip and the tool which will help you understand where the line of sight is blocked. Yeah, if you have units selected and the designated distance, uh, detecting distance will automatically adjust the optics value of the unit. The tool is also uh, snaps to buildings now. Yeah, well, I'd expect that to be honest. Okay, so that makes sense. Okay, that's good. Uh, we have also worked on another tool that's display the ele um, elevation curves of the color overlay on the map to help you verify the release. You have no doubt. Okay, next one. Finally, you can now see which com uh, command unit are following the selected by selecting them and pressing the shift key, the line of the display. Okay, so shift key is not alt. Okay, which one is it? Okay, and the unit is displayed in the command command, the I code, depending on the type of command. Okay, uh, as for for today, hope you enjoyed. Yeah, okay, cool. My personal, I, I've talked my opinion so far. Maps are too big, too big, way too big, too many objectives. Way, 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 way. This is going to be the least favorite map. People want to fight each other, they want to blow each other up, they don't want to be capturing 10,000 objectives. How many is that? Three, six, nine, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 objectives on one map. Nah, that's crazy, man. No one's going to like that. I know the developers like, oh, don't be so negative or whatever. Or whoever people, people are going to put in the comments to be so negative. Nah, that's too many objectives. No one's going to want that. No one's going to be playing this map. Um, This is an average size. So it's an average. I think that's all right. That's not too bad. This, I like this. This is nice. I re actually really like this map. That's going to be that's gonna be a really good map, to be fair. But uh, yeah, there's uh, some maps way too big. Um, they copied Central Village, the most least favorite map in the game, and they shouldn't have done that, personally. Um, this is weird. Makes sense. Like, I think you can manage this in a 5v5v5. Uh, here, this is a good one. Very good map. Absolutely loving this one. This one, yeah, average. Uh, probably way too big again. Too many objectives. This one, this is seems different. It seems like that uh, one map I come up with, bloody cool now. I'm pretty sure it's the same map, but they've just added loads of new stuff to it. Uh, yeah, I think, eh, okay, I like some maps that don't like some, but that's just the way it is. Uh, 5v5, some of these maps are probably for 10v10s. <laughs> but uh, but uh, there we go, this map, this map's the worst map. Way too many objectives to take. Way, way, way too many. Well, there we go. That's my thoughts. Um, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Sorry about the ranting, but uh, there we go. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.